Grumpy Stewie friends. Does she want the inside story on how he gets Helen back? Yeah, I hear with a gossip about it all, right? Okay, do you want to hear? Right then, pull up a chair, make yourself comfortable. Grumpy Stew to Stu to oh, oh, can't say my own name. Grumpy Stu tells you everything that happens. Here we goes. I was sitting in the kitchen, minding my own business, right? And Ali comes flying in like a whirlwind. Come on, Stu, we got to go right now. Come on. I says, what? What, what? what do you want, right? Have I got sausages for me? What? She says, come on, Stuart, right now we've got to go and get Helen. And with that, I had a lead on. And she was going, come on, Stu. She grabs this bag, but it was already packed. And she says, come on, get in the car right now. So I get in the car and she says, come on, Stu, put your seatbelt on. Don't want my seatbelt on, do I? Right? No. Stu, just move this little way so I can clip it. No, I'm not moving. Right? No, don't you push me. Right? Oh, eventually it lets her put it on, right? But she has to wait, uh, you know, a few seconds because, you know, like, I do things in my own time, don't I? Anyway, then we speeds off, right? She puts in a sat-nav where she's going and everything and we drives. Well, well, I quite like it in the car now these days, friends. So, you know, Grumpy Stu was having a little sort of, like, sleepy, you know, dozing away on the back seat. And then he says, oh, I hear we go, oh, it's Helen, it's Helen walking down the street and we slowly glides to a stop and she goes Stuart gotta get out of the car right this second right so she oh we that my seatbelt was off and I was out of the car and I goes aye aye is that Ellen right and she stops she'd been running along the street while trotting she wasn't really running full flight but she was trotting along going quite fast and so she sees me she stops in her tracks and she just looks at me and I goes, <laughs> right. And she goes, it's, it's you, Stu. Well, we looked at each other for ages. And Ali was trying to get the things out of the car she needed so that she could have treats and things to give to Helen. And with that, she just turns around and trots off again. So he gets back in the car. Get back in the car, Stuart. This time I was in the front seat. Yeah, because I'm a big boy, right? And then drives a little bit further. Then pulls up in front of Ellen, saunters out for car. She stops again. She goes, Stuart, it's you. Ali chucks her a bit of sausage and she eats it, right? She eats a hot dog. And she goes, oh, brilliant. She doesn't say a word to her, nothing at all. And she's just pretending like she's sort of walking me down the street, you know, like as if nothing happens until we both stop. And then she's not really looking at Helen or anything like that. Um Anyways, Helen comes closer and she's like, oh, it's you, Stu. And with that, she went down an alleyway. It's like, what are you doing? Right, we can't drive a car down an alleyway, can you? So Helen goes, right, okay, Stu, we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to walk slowly as if we're having a walk behind Helen, um, not chasing her in any way, so she doesn't think that we're chasing her. And she kept going this right, friend, she kept going. And every time she did that, Helen turned round and Ali looked away as if to go, want me? And she just carries on walking as if it was nothing. Anyways, then we end up on this road and Helen stops again and she starts throwing sausages like, like what we just at the, at, at the rescue, right? We go, boo, boo, but without the sounds, right? But, you know, the boo is like sort of throwing them in a little arc like what we do here. And Helen starts eating some. And that's all really, really good. And then, right, it's quite, not a really busy road, but there was some cars and the door stopped for us. And anyway, then that's, that's the info, like, turns up. So she, she glides in in her little white car. She's got Libby with her, hasn't she? So Ali's just trying to keep, um, you know, like, uh, Helen, like, busy on the treats for a minute while we think, like, well, where can we get her? Where can we get her safe? So she's just giving her treats and, you know, making her wait and sort of watch when, and, and just throwing things for her. Anyway, Helen starts to get bored with the treats, doesn't she? But it's okay, isn't it? Because Lily, Libby's out of the car. Yeah, Libby's... She goes, hang on a minute. Is that Libby? It is Libby. Anyway, then she walks in the road because Libby was on the other side of the road at that point. And, but it's okay. It's because we'd stopped all the traffic. And she goes over to see who Libby is. So I follows, like, just sauntering, you know, like a king, like you do. Um, and then we get, sees this garden gate open, right? And it's like, let's get her in 
in the garden. Yeah, right, and shut the gate, and then she'll be semi-safe at that point. I just mentioned that at this point, Em rolls up in the van, doesn't she? She's got Lyca with her, but she keeps Lyca in the van. She does a big thumbs up, Ali does a thumbs up, and Em's pointing, get her somewhere safe, and Ali goes, we're on it, we're already on it. And we was like, with that, Libby and Nadia but walks into the garden, right? And she just follows. So I just saunters into the garden, just as if I was just, you know, like, I don't know, going for a bit of a walk. And Ali quietly closes the gate behind us. Well, that was quite good, wasn't it? So then, oh, the treats really started then, right, friends? Ali sits on the floor and she's like throwing the treats. Helen was actually taking the treats from her hand. And oh, her hand was so close to the collar, right? But she knew if she tries to touch that collar, Helen be gone. She knows it, you could tell, right? So, just gives her treats. Nadia had some nice chicken on her as well, so she was doing treats as well. Just keeping Helen busy. And Em sort of walks up, but not very close at all. And she's on her phone, and we got really quiet on speakerphone. And she's saying, just take your time, girls. Just keep all calm. Don't make any fast moves or anything, because we know what will happen, right? And so was doing that. After a while, Ali, she had a spare lead, right, to try and get Helen on the lead. And she just moves the, the lead just a tiny bit to test what Helen would do. And do you know what she did? She stepped straight back. And she wouldn't take any treats then for a little while. She did. She started taking them again. But, you know, if we'd have tried with that lead at that point, she'd have gone. I can tell you, right, she had, like, I know what you're trying to do. Don't even think about it. Right, so Ali's right. Like, okay, she just puts the lead down and carries on as if it never happened. Do you want a treat? At this point, right, I'm thinking, why is Ellen getting all the treats and I'm not getting any treats? Right? It's not on, is it? Anyway, so what happens then is Ali like just puts the treat box down for a second, just to reshuffle and get something else out of her pocket. She had some liver paste, which was good. Try that, right? And so her snaffles, like, half the hot dogs, like, like in one mouthful, I was like, well, you know, like, you snooze, you lose, my belly wins, right? And then I was like, oh, flipping eggs, Stuart, now you've eaten half most of me treats that I've got. So M, then, right, she, she slips some more hot dogs over the fence. It was like a little picket fence that Helen could easily have jumped. And she, there was big, long hot dogs, these ones, in plastic wrappers. And the only way she could get them open, right, was with her teeth. She says, but she does it. She says, takes one for the team. We've got to do this for Helen, right? So, um, yes, and then um, what happened next, right? Oh, next, and Helen starts to get a bit bored and she starts looking at the fence, thinking, how can I get out of here, right? Just my jump this. So at that point, Em's there. she got like her with her, hasn't she? So she, Em don't come in because she knows that, like, free is going to be too much for Helen, right? So Em, she just... Slips like her through the gate, close. Ellen stops in a trap. Aye, aye, is that you like her? Are you like her? How are you? What you been doing for some completely? She's right back in the in the room with us or in the little garden. Oh, she's really, really, really busy. Then we says to the gentleman whose garden it is, Can you open your door and then go away? And can we walk her into your house, please? And then we can close the door and she'll be completely and utterly safe then. Is that okay? And do you know this gentleman, right? He had his two own rescue dogs. He says, course you can. course you can. So he, he shuts his dogs in, in a different room. He opens the door. And then he goes, move away, move away. And then when he'd moved away after a little while and Helen was sure he wouldn't come back, Nadia, she just stands up and she just one starts dropping chicken behind her and wandering into the house as if she was just going in her own house. And Helen just follows her in, right? I was getting all ready to go, you know, Alice there, ready to block, make sure that she can't turn around and run back out. Didn't need to, did we? Because she was just like, oh, we're going in here. Because she knows what, right? Helen used to be on Foster with Nadia. So she just follows Libby, thinking she's going to get all the treats like she used to. And with that, we close the door. And she's safe. Good day, isn't it? Right, so then, after a few minutes in there... We managed just to get a lead on that, and that's it then. We can bring her back out. And that's how it happened, friends. Right.